Krishna 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 he Krishna 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 Ate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Iti Namine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Paschacha Deshatarine Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gradhara Sri Basadi Gauravakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Sri Sarabhyay Namaha Om Sri Sarabhyay Namaha Om Sri Sarabhyay Namaha Mukham karoti vasalam pangum langayate girim yat kripat maham bande sri gurum dinataranam yat kripat maham bande sri gurum dinataranam Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <coughs> we like to begin by apologizing for not being able to broadcast yesterday. Uh, we had somewhat of an unexpected <clears throat> uh, early rainstorm, uh, a little unusual here where we are in South India at uh, Sayadri Sri Krishna Balaram Chetra. <clears throat> and therefore, whenever that happens, there is irregularity in terms of uh, <clears throat> electricity. Therefore, we could not broadcast. We're happy to be able to continue today. Uh, <clears throat> just a little bit of information uh, regarding something we mentioned in some of our recent um, programs. Some positive developments in terms of uh, Varnasram College online. Uh, we have actually just a few days ago selected uh, a total of seven devotees uh, who are members of the steering committee for Varnasram College Online. <clears throat> you can immediately visit uh, the new website that we are putting together, uh, although <clears throat> it is still very much under construction. <clears throat> the main page is there giving basic information about <clears throat> what we are envisioning what we hope to uh, accomplish and uh, you can easily have access simply by visiting www.varnasramacollege in one word dot com that's varnasramacollege.com <clears throat> and uh, we also have a number of devotees who have stepped forward to become teachers online teachers Especially we have one devotee who has eight years of online teaching experience. He's based in Orlando, actually in the U.S., uh, Tirtaraj Prabhu. Uh, we're very happy that he has joined our team and uh, he'll be <clears throat> giving um, some tutorial to those who would like to uh, <clears throat> take up this particular medium of uh, outreach. Uh, on the internet. As we all know, with the ongoing uh, pandemic, <clears throat> so many people are having uh, more time at hand, so many people are at home, and there's a lot of <clears throat> uh, usage of <clears throat> the uh, uh, internet facilities that are there. We're also trying to take advantage of that uh, as well. We have also selected what is called uh, program leaders. <clears throat> Our Vedic 
literatures are actually giving us a very simple but very scientific outline of the main and primary uh, <clears throat> subject matters that are meant to be uh, taught that we should all be learning um, to some degree or other. And um, <clears throat> therefore, for each of these main uh, areas, uh, we have a program leader who will be coordinating with um, our uh, teachers. So that is ongoing. We are hoping within <clears throat> a short time to have more information uh, on this. <clears throat> if anyone is interested to be part of this endeavor, you can simply uh, write <clears throat> to uh, Vishnu Ratha Prabhu. He is one of our teachers as well. <clears throat> and uh, you s simply can write uh, to secretariat uh, at uh, iskonvarnasrama.com <clears throat> and um, uh, we'll be happy to answer any queries you may have in that respect. We will now read from uh, speaking about Varnasrama as we have been doing in the last um, <clears throat> 10 days or so. This new chapter is uh, <clears throat> chapter number 10 entitled Guru Gives Varna Guidance. Guru Gives Varna Guidance. Here are some of the themes. <clears throat> One, Guru will test student to determine Varna. Second, <clears throat> in Varnasrama, all social orders cooperate to serve Krishna. So that means specifically, that is the meaning of Daiva Varnasrama. Daiva Varnasrama, all the members of the Varnas and the Asramas, their primary goal and objective is to serve Krishna. <clears throat> Another theme, whatever his social function is, a Vaishnava is still a Vaishnava. So one may be serving within the Brahmana, Varna, one may be serving within the Kshatriya Varna, or the Vaishya Varna, or the Shudra Varna, because all four make up Varnasrama. Regardless of which Varna one is serving in, if one is serving Krishna, he is known, recognized, and should be uh, <coughs> treated as a Vaishnava. <clears throat> and the last theme that is being discussed here no matter how much service one does, if he neglects his vows, he is a cheater. We all, uh, in Krishna consciousness, take vows. Those who uh, take diksha or initiation, and therefore Prabhupada is pointing out, if we don't follow these vows, then uh, <clears throat> we are cheating. So this is a um, morning walk conversation in uh, April, 20th of April, 1974, in Hyderabad. Uh, the first uh, devotee speaking, Panchad Dravida. How do you teach um, a Varnasram college? In Varnasrama college, if somebody comes in, they say, I want to be a Kshatriya. Or I want to be a Vaisha. Is it like that? <laughs> Naturally, uh, actually, whether it was in Hyderabad or in Vrindavan, as we have seen in the last few uh, episodes, <clears throat> very enlivening discussions were there with Srila Prabhupada on the topic of Varnasrama College. So Prabhupada replies, No, that will be tested by the teachers. What for he is fit? He, uh, <clears throat> he will be tested by the Guru. Uh, Pancha, Pancha Dravida. Who will teach him to be a Kshatriya? Or who will teach him to be a Vaisha? 
Prabhupada, Kshatiya, a Brahmana. Just like if you want to learn music, you have to go to a musician. Then a question, so where will we get Kshatriyas? <clears throat> Prabhupada replies, that is in the Shastra. Anyone can learn it. Just like if you want to be a doctor, so you must have this qualification. Similarly, these things are stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Kshatriya means if there is fight, he must go forward, first of all, risking his life. That is Kshatriya. <clears throat> Question. So we have men who will teach this? Uh, do we have men? Mm. Prabhupada. Uh, yes. Because he knows how to teach, that's all. Question. The brahmanas, they all become devotees. They, will, they would all be engaged in devotional service. Prabhupada. This is also devotion. So, Prabhupada is trying to clarify here the misunderstanding. Devotional service doesn't mean simply to be in a temple having a bead bag and chanting Hare Krishna. Devotional service is not simply being uh, <clears throat> in a temple attending uh, Mangalarti or whatever. Uh, the Prabhupada is making the point. This is also devotional service to take up the various social duties and responsibilities. Mm. So this is also devotion to teach a Kshatriya because this is necessary in the society. This is also devotion. So that is, uh, Brahmanas are meant to teach. The next question, and Vaishas? <clears throat> Prabhupada continues, just like when Krishna is fighting. Krishna is fighting, killing the demons. So that is also devotion. If you help Krishna by killing demons, not that simply by chanting you supply. Just like Bhishmadev, he even injured Krishna. And Krishna took it very pleasant. Instead of throwing flowers, he pierced his body with arrow. And Srila Prabhupada continues, So everything for the service. If Krishna is pleased, being pierced by the arrow, the devotee will do that. His only business is how to please Krishna. Just like mm, the example is given by Vishwanath Chakravarti, that when a man kisses a woman and bites her, she becomes pleased. Is it not? It is not a fact that by biting is pleasing. It is pleasing. It is pleasing? <laughs> Ordinary biting? No. But sometimes it is pleasing. So one has to learn <laughs> where to bite and when, and when to bite. <laughs> Prabhupada is laughing. But if a rascal, rascal thinks that biting is pleasing, I shall bite always, then he is a rascal. <laughs> and then there's a break in the conversation. Mm. Lying down on the Jamuna beach on the sand with his friends. And if we think, no, there's no need of bedding of Krishna. He was lying down on the Yamuna beach, so he will lie down on the floor. Mm. <clears throat> and just a few more lines here. So Prabhupada is telling, so we must know how to please Krishna. So this theme is again and again coming up. <clears throat> Regardless of one's activity um, within the categories of uh, Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, the main criteria is how to please Krishna. And of course, how to please Krishna, that is given in the Shastra, that is um, <clears throat> mentioned and should tally with uh, Guru, Sadhu, and Shastra. <clears throat> Generally, the Sarabhanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, hearing and chanting about Lord Vishnu, that is pleasing. Therefore, these rules and regulations for everyone but when one becomes mature devotee, he knows how to please Krishna. Mm. <clears throat> so we will uh, close here in this uh, chapter. Mm. A very important topic, of course, which comes up uh, quite often. 
in terms of, of varna and uh, <clears throat> the main point being given here, which is also uh, <clears throat> something we referred to not so long ago, uh, quoting Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur. So it was the practice in the village that the local brahmanas. So brahmanas are considered as the teachers or guru. Same thing, the local brahmanas, they would be uh, studying <clears throat> and assessing each, each young boy in the village to determine what it is. <clears throat> so we will go to uh, questions um, <clears throat> that have been Somehow today we uh, did not receive any questions. Fortunately, we have uh, <clears throat> some backlog here, especially because we did not cover yesterday. So this is our 13th session, mm. <clears throat> and we are beginning at question number 41. This uh, question was sent by Ram Lakshman <laughs> Prabhu. <laughs> Uh, from, again, from Hibri, where we are. <clears throat> so the question is, how to improve the relationship among the devotees, and especially among the God-brothers? How to improve the relationship among the devotees, and especially among the God-brothers? <clears throat> Krishna consciousness is all about relationships. The <clears throat> whole matter, uh, the whole philosophy of Krishna consciousness begins with this first of three levels called Sambandha. Sambandha means <clears throat> knowing one's mm, true nature or identity. And once we understand who we are, acting favorably uh, in regards to uh, who we are. <clears throat> if this primary, preliminary uh, level, preliminary and primary level of relationship is not properly resolved, naturally we will have difficulties going to the second and the third level. Sambandha, Abhideya, Prayojana. Sambandha, relationship. Once relationships are nicely established, uh, <clears throat> Abhideya, proper activity, activities of devotional service according to uh, proper relationship. And <clears throat> by engaging in uh, authorized <clears throat> activities, then one day, in due course of time, we will, uh, prayojana, attain the goal and uh, objective of Krishna consciousness. So this is there on all levels. Uh, <clears throat> we should not uh, unnecessarily make major decisions between people who are, or devotees, who may be God-brother or not God-brother. We all belong to one <clears throat> large family. Uh, we belong to Krishna's spiritual family and therefore Krishna, he is our common father and uh, <clears throat> therefore we are all related in this uh, spiritual family. Very often, yes, there are um, Difficulties in how we relate to others, largely, largely due to uh, <clears throat> uh, different levels of, we could say, misunderstanding or impurities in how we see or react when others say or do something. Uh, <clears throat> Krishna consciousness teaches us uh, how. For example, it is not by chance 
It is not by accident that we find ourselves where we are and with whom we are living. It is all based on uh, the higher arrangement uh, connected with karma and uh, providence. <clears throat> so therefore, uh, <clears throat> we need to especially work on ourselves in terms of finding the various deficiencies or, or natural tendency. The natural tendency of someone who is materialistic will be pointing the finger, will be noticing, and he will be focused on the shortcomings and faults of others. Shortcomings and faults, we are in the material world, they will always be there. Uh, <clears throat> but for a devotee, he, is, he knows that this is the nature of the material world. And therefore, he will not dwell on the faults and shortcomings of others. Uh, he will rather be so uh, <clears throat> preoccupied with his own, uh, <clears throat> with improving his own, that he will give less attention or less importance. So <clears throat> how to establish proper relationship, therefore, is based on how... <clears throat> Uh, serious we are as individuals to focus on uh, how we can ourselves and uh, <clears throat> um, to minimize um, our uh, various uh, inabilities that are there to relate with others. So it means actually our consciousness it means uh, not only reciting the various prayers in the Shikshastakam, whereby we uh, know from Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu how we need to cultivate this mood and mentality of being uh, meek and humble, uh, more humble than a blade of grass. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> in practicality, demonstrate what is contained in these different prayers, then we are actually missing the point. <clears throat> what can be very helpful is for devotees to perform simple, common activities. Just like uh, where we are here in uh, Sayadri Sri Krishna Balaram Kshetra, there are, there are so many things to be done uh, <clears throat> physically, on the property here. Uh, there are things also that can be done uh, together, although we have uh, restrictions nowadays because of this uh, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> this virus uh, problem that is there. <clears throat> so therefore, devotees may not be able to come together uh, as easily um, as, as before. Still, there are common activities, keeping our uh, respective distances that can be uh, undertaken. And uh, in this way, uh, that can help devotees come closer together by sharing the various responsibilities that are, that are there. All of the various shortcomings uh, <clears throat> or faults that uh, we may have naturally are due to uh, our different levels of uh, impurities. And therefore, we have to become more uh, <clears throat> concentrated. We have to concentrate more on uh, working on ourself, uh, on purifying our consciousness, <clears throat> on uh, <clears throat> also trying to appreciate instead of picking out and, and, and focusing on the, the uh, <clears throat> minus uh, or, or what is lacking or the faults of others, we should uh, endeavor to uh, <clears throat> uh, appreciate uh, different 
qualities that devotees are having, uh, simply appreciate the fact that someone has given up so much, actually, to become a devotee and uh, to join the Krishna Consciousness Movement and to take up various um, uh, austerities for uh, carrying out the mission of our founder, Acharya. So, to a large extent, uh, how to improve our relationships with others, whether they are God brothers or not, <clears throat> it will depend largely on uh, how serious an effort we all make individually to work on our own faults, on our own shortcomings, and uh, understand also that uh, the point I was trying to make initially, we are surrounded by various individuals wherever we may go, and it means that we still have uh, in our particular relationship with this devotee or that devotee. And therefore, uh, <clears throat> that can best be done as we develop a higher consciousness or a more purified consciousness. Uh, <clears throat> so in this way, uh, the more we are intent on, on, on improving our own self, to that extent, we will more easily be able to interact and relate with other devotees. We will go to the next question here. Mm. This is question number 42. <coughs> this is from Hyderabad, Swarup City, Prabhu. Mm. <coughs> One of the ISKCON devotees speaking in a video where he did not take the name of either Srila Prabhupada or Krishna. Based on this reason, can we call him a Mayavadi in a forum? Whom can we call as a Mayavadi? <clears throat> Calling so is it an offense, Aparat. Well, to call a devotee a Mayavadi uh, is not very good, um, especially in a public forum. <clears throat> it does not necessarily mean that if someone is not mentioning the word Krishna or Prabhupada that he is a Mayavadi. Uh, <clears throat> we have to look at the overall situation. Uh, <clears throat> Mayavadi generally means one who is not believing uh, in the personal uh, form <laughs> of God, personal feature of God, isn't it? Uh, so, yes, yeah, sometimes we may say uh, if we are less personal in our dealings with one another, we have, actually all of us do have this tendency of being impersonal uh, due to our uh, <clears throat> lack of uh, elevated Krishna consciousness. So neglecting uh, someone <clears throat> is, uh, we could say, uh, a sign of impersonalism, especially when we know and we understand, and we should know, we should understand how <clears throat> central is the theme of personalism. Therefore, it means that in our dealings with one another, uh, we, <clears throat> we need to be very sensitive. Uh, we need to develop this caring mood, caring attitude. And we should be, uh, again, coming back to what we were speaking a few minutes ago, we should try to see positive in others. We should try to develop a feeling of gratitude for even a small service. This is how Krishna uh, 
sees a devotee, uh, even the smallest of services, because Krishna knows how difficult it is for the conditioned soul in the material world. We are surrounded by maya. We are constantly uh, being influenced by the modes of material nature, uh, especially in the Kali Yuga. It is extremely difficult. So even a small service rendered by a devotee, Krishna becomes very pleased. <clears throat> uh, so likewise, we uh, need to imbibe this mood and mentality um, that Krishna has. And uh, we should be very, very cautious in labeling someone, uh, especially in public, uh, of being um, uh, impersonal, what to speak of being uh, mayavadi, uh, <clears throat> in our exchanges with devotees, either individually or in a group or especially publicly, then we have to be uh, very careful and very cautious how we uh, interact. Uh, we have a tendency of too quickly judging. Uh, first of all, who are we to judge, isn't it? There's so many things we don't know or realize about others. <clears throat> and therefore, uh, <clears throat> therefore, we should be uh, selective also in uh, interaction with others. Srila Prabhupada explains it is in one of the purports, I believe, of the nectar of instruction. Um, uh, Upadesha Amrita by Srila Rupa Goswami, that even amongst devotees, we uh, should seek out that good association of devotees who are nicely engaged in devotional service. And in the nectar of instruction, it is also mentioned by Srila Rupa Goswami, we should especially associate with those devotees who... <clears throat> have no inclination to criticize others. It is so easy to criticize. It is so easy to find fault. <clears throat> we should be very cautious. We should actually distance, distance ourselves from those who have this kind of critical uh, mentality or find, we call it, we call it fault-finding, sorry, fault-finding mentality. And this is not uh, at all conducive, conducive for our advancement in spiritual life. So therefore, if we find ourselves in this kind of situation where somebody is maybe speaking, speaking, and then never referring to Krishna or never referring to Srila Prabhupada or not giving credit to Krishna, not giving credit to Srila Prabhupada, then instead of just labeling them, we should... Uh, <clears throat> restrict uh, or avoid you know, our association with uh, someone who has this kind of mentality. So Krishna will give us the good intelligence. Uh, anyone who is actually sincere in wanting to advance and progress in Krishna consciousness, uh, <clears throat> Krishna who is seated within the heart, sarva sachaham ridi sani bisto, uh, he gives us the proper intelligence uh, how to deal with different situations, with whom we should associate, with whom we should keep distance, etc. like that. So <clears throat> we, at all costs, uh, should not uh, criticize or label uh, other devotees, but we should learn to uh, <clears throat> regulate, so to speak, our uh, interaction or our association depending on uh, <clears throat> uh, the mentality of other, uh, of other devotees. This is a very uh, fundamental instruction that Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives. Sat Sangha Tyaga E Vaishnavachar Sri Sangi Eko Sadhu Krishna Abhakta Ar that uh, 
<coughs> devotee is always cautious to this kind of uh, association um, which is not uh, helping one to come closer to Krishna. Satsanga, tyaga, tyaga. Give up all kinds of association which are not favorable for our practice of Krishna consciousness. Let us go to uh, one more question here. This is question number 43. By uh, This is sent by Rasamandal Prabhu, also from Hyderabad. <clears throat> it is predicted astrologically that this year end some planetary combinations are harmful and will cause a lot of miseries. There is disagreement between some personalities like Saturn, Jupiter, Rahu, etc., who will be present in one house at that time with their apparent differences. My question, Maharaj, is, does the jiva really have a free will when he is under control <clears throat> whether because yes this is part of our philosophy that living entity has minute free will minute independence so here um, this question is being asked in the context of so many seen and unseen influences which are there. All of these seen and unseen influences, uh, definitely the alignment of planets, etc., does have a bearing in taking place. Uh, <clears throat> that is why when someone is born, uh, when Krishna is born, when Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was born, when she the Vedic system and tradition is to have one can understand um, the of that particular individual. So there are bearings, uh, but this is all connected, of course, with uh, the law of karma. The individual minute independence of everyone always is present regardless of these seen and unseen uh, <clears throat> we could say influences that are there it is part of our karma it is like uh, we a few minutes ago we are where we associate with various individuals on our previous karma and therefore, nothing happens simply uh, <clears throat> so they <clears throat> able to properly exercise one's free will by the proper cultivation of knowledge. Uh, but, and therefore, the importance of Krishna consciousness Krishna consciousness allows one uh, to uh, make a more uh, better choice in terms of uh, this is what Krishna also instructs in the Bhagavad Gita. Pravritim cha nivritim cha jana navidur asura. Pravriti marga and nivriti marga, what is uh, <clears throat> authorized and what is not authorized what is good and what is uh, bad. According to Adharmic, against Dharma. Most people, unfortunately, are less aware. Most people are totally unaware, actually, of Dharma, the principles of Dharma. So therefore, they are totally acting on the uh, uh, bodily platform, uh, they are forced, actually, 
by the laws of nature to act. And, and uh, although they also have the free will, but because they're totally covered, they're totally under the tamagun, the mode of ignorance, therefore they are generally making bad uh, choices. <clears throat> One who is fortunate to come in contact with the knowledge of Krishna consciousness <clears throat> and who comes to know uh, that he's a spirit soul, who comes to know about his nature and identity as that is one of the characteristic. Uh, the spirit soul is Anksha, part and parcel of Krishna. And then Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur in his Dasa Mula Tattva, very important book actually, in his Dasa Mula Tattva explains the four Tattvas of the Jiva, of the living entity. The Jiva is Anksha, part and parcel of Krishna. Never becomes Krishna. Always remains the part and parcel. <clears throat> then living entity also is either uh, Baddha Jeev, means condition, living entity, conditioned by the three modes of material nature. <clears throat> when one is totally influenced or covered and conditioned by the modes of material nature, uh, he is forced on the bodily platform, on the mental platform. Third characteristic of the jiva, jiva is uh, mukta jiva, or can become, from the position of baddha jiva, conditioned soul, one can become a liberated soul. <clears throat> and the fourth characteristic has to do with uh, <clears throat> being uh, simultaneously one in quality with Krishna, that is Beda Abeda. Uh, Beda Abeda. The same, we are the same, having the same quality as Krishna. But Abeda, we are different in quantity. So the more we are uh, cultivating this knowledge, and that's why it is so important to spread this knowledge, and once we receive this knowledge to more deeply cultivate this knowledge, then we will be in a better position to properly exercise this free will that we have. Uh, <clears throat> the more we are self-realized, then we will uh, <clears throat> make the better use of this uh, God-given uh, free, uh, free will, regardless of the different... Actually, <clears throat> one who's totally cultivating, totally absorbed in Krishna consciousness, <coughs> excuse me, then he is not, <coughs> uh, he is uh, less influenced by these modes of material nature, <coughs> less influenced also by the threefold miseries of life, to the extent that actually one who is completely <coughs> Uh, elevated <clears throat> or liberated mm. such a person and this is the beauty of Krishna consciousness <clears throat> the beauty of Krishna consciousness is that one who nicely practices <clears throat> can come to that position of no longer being in any way <clears throat> under the control of the threefold miseries of life or the uh, three modes of material nature which is of course the state of uh, total <clears throat> liberation <clears throat> it is a question of Consciousness. When one's consciousness is <clears throat> elevated uh, platform, then <clears throat> regardless of major catastrophes that may be taking place, uh, major challenges that one may be facing, 
or major influences, subtle influences, just like you're mentioning here about uh, <clears throat> the position of various uh, stars and how inauspicious situations may become. But one who is <clears throat> uh, totally absorbed in Krishna consciousness, he is no longer influenced by these things. <clears throat> but because the vast majority uh, of us uh, cannot so quickly or so easily attain that platform, therefore we have to take various pre, uh, precautions <clears throat> and uh, in all circumstances, of course, living entity uh, maintains that uh, minute independence of one's free will. <clears throat> so it means, to, to just close on this point, the more we are uh, advanced in spiritual life, then the more we will properly utilize this free will. We will not misuse it. And the less we are advanced in Krishna consciousness, our tendency will be to misuse this free will that we have. And this is, unfortunately, what is taking place in the lives of majority of people who are totally on the bodily platform. Um, I believe this is yeah, getting close to the end of our session here. <clears throat> um, just a small uh, information uh, <clears throat> that some of our devotees who are from uh, the medical profession <clears throat> I did not get a chance, I, actually I skimped <laughs> through this book, but there's a, um, a document that has been put together by our uh, devotees <clears throat> in regards to this uh, COVID-19, and um, um, <clears throat> devotees can um, uh, refer to this particular manual. Um, it uh, probably will be available uh, on different... Uh, <clears throat> uh, media, but you can inquire uh, about that. It was just uh, made available just, I believe, yesterday. <clears throat> so therefore, devotees should continue to be cautious. You know, devotees are the most <clears throat> important persons in the world. Why? Because they have knowledge which most people don't have. And uh, <clears throat> they have not only uh, spiritual knowledge, but they also have various kinds of material knowledge. And uh, <clears throat> uh, those who are cultivating uh, these different sciences that make up you know, Vedic, Vedic culture, <clears throat> the more we are uh, <clears throat> advanced in these different uh, knowledges in terms of <clears throat> the uh, spiritual uh, aspect of Krishna consciousness <clears throat> and how to deal with <clears throat> all kinds of situations. And the more also we are knowledgeable about how to cope and to deal nature. Uh, and of course, this is the major <clears throat> subject matter of the whole theme of Varnashrama Dharma. Uh, and that is why it is so important uh, for us as devotees to also be familiar and be aware with uh, this dimension. Uh, <clears throat> uh, it is said, for example, that one of the main uh, <clears throat> shortcomings uh, and, and, and uh, <clears throat> one of the main uh, difficulties or problems that many people are facing is in relation to their low immune system. Means majority of people in whatever country, some countries more so than others, we don't have to give names, it is obvious, it should be obvious. <clears throat> in some countries people are more, uh, <clears throat> we could say liberal, or promiscuous, actually, <laughs> uh, in terms of uh, not 
uh, following basic principles of hygiene, uh, in terms of not being cautious of what kind of food they eat, what time of the day they are eating. <clears throat> there are so many uh, aspects that are actually embedded within the Vedic culture as to how we should be living both our spiritual life as well as our material life uh, in such a way that we will be <clears throat> more healthy uh, and therefore uh, stronger and therefore more protected also from the various uh, influences uh, that are there in the material world. So therefore, this is uh, <clears throat> very much part of uh, <clears throat> what we as devotees, again, uh, individual devotees and ISKCON as a society uh, has a special responsibility. We have a special role to play and therefore uh, we can only succeed in doing that if we uh, individually <clears throat> are actually uh, <clears throat> very uh, intent and very serious in uh, applying the knowledge that we have received in uh, Guru Parampara and uh, <clears throat> and therefore the more we are ideal in demonstrating this philosophy that is is uh, so wonderful <clears throat> that is there in these Vedic literatures and uh, our as Prabhupada has taught us as, as he has demonstrated personally as well, it's our foremost duty and responsibility to share this knowledge. Um, of course, even before sharing it, we need to uh, <clears throat> practice uh, to the extent that we are able to practice. So this is directly relate, related to a very important theme that Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, would refer to very often in the expression of achar and prachar. <clears throat> to the extent that one is very uh, <clears throat> expert in his uh, achar, achar refers to one's behavior, uh, it refers to one's practice of Krishna consciousness, actually refers to one's sadhana. <clears throat> so the more we are uh, strong in our sarachar, sarachar, good behavior, then uh, we will be more effective in our prachar, isn't it? Achar and prachar are therefore uh, <clears throat> existing side by side, and it is our for foremost duty and responsibility. Same thing instructed actually by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, when he would remind those who are born in the land of India. Bharata Bhumite Hoilya Manusya Janamajar Janma Sarta Kori Kora Para Upakar So first of all we make our lives successful as individuals by nicely cultivating Krishna consciousness being less concerned about the shortcomings and faults uh, of others and understanding our uh, taking a, a, a humble position <clears throat> working on our uh, own individual Krishna consciousness number one and then the more we do that we will be in a better position to take up the uh, preaching mission of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, so especially in these times of major challenges and crisis all over the world, none of us, we don't know, you know, what the outcome, this is very, very uh, unprecedented. <clears throat> okay, there have been uh, similar crises before. <clears throat> I mean, the whole world is a repetition in so many ways, but uh, on the kind of scale that is uh, unfolding at present and what we have been accustomed to up until just a few weeks ago 
uh, how this will uh, come out uh, in, in the near future, no one really knows. For us as devotees, uh, it is, in one sense, irrelevant in that uh, this knowledge of Krishna consciousness is giving us uh, <clears throat> the ability and the understanding to adjust to any kind of situation. And that is why it is, uh, therefore, of uh, a prime importance for each and every devotee to uh, nicely practice individually uh, our Krishna consciousness, to be attentive and uh, endeavor to understand Srila Prabhupada's uh, mission, his goal, um, through this society that he has established, and uh, <clears throat> to uh, uh, assist in whatever way possible, wherever we may be. Uh, again, we are all where we are now uh, and shut down. <laughs> we were not supposed to be here, for example, longer than a week. Uh, the small group of devotees who came to SSKBK, uh, maybe uh, uh, close to one month ago, actually, we came on the day of Gaur Purnima, which was the 9th of March. So today is 8th. Tomorrow will be one month. <laughs> one month we are here. From one week, we have extended three weeks. How much longer we will extend, we don't know. And we're all in similar kind of situations. Uh, but let us keep in mind that Krishna consciousness is that wonderful gift that we have all received by the mercy of Srila Prabhupada, by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, to deal uh, with any kind of situation, to deal with any kind of individual as well, whether he is devotee or non-devotee, if we nicely cultivate this knowledge. So, thank you all very much for uh, <clears throat> sending in questions. Please continue to do that. Everyone, kindly be cautious. Uh, take shelter of the Holy Name. Take shelter of the process of devotional service. And uh, in this way, let us continue uh, to try and serve the mission of Srila Prabhupada. Let us all together uh, end our session as we have been doing by chanting the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Dai Sri Prabhupada ki, Dai Samasta Gaur Bhakti Vrinda ki, Dai Nithai Gaur Pimanande, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.